Hello, this is a brief presentation of our paper titled Fire Performance of CLT Members, a detailed review of experimental studies across multiple scales. Well, cross-laminated timber or CLT panels is an innovative sustainable construction material which is usually comprised of uh, various timber layers stacked crosswise and glued together. Silty panels can be used in load-bearing wall or floor assemblies. Silty panels provide a broad range of advantages as a construction material, such as easy handling, high level of prefabrication, good thermal and sound insulation, and also good performance in earthquake conditions. However, reservations regarding the fire performance of CLT panels may prevent their use in an increasing number of uh, modern buildings. In fact, the fire performance of CLT panels is affected by a large variety of material and design parameters. In this context, this work presents a thorough review of 160 recent experimental studies aimed at determining the impact of these important parameters on the fire behavior of CLT members. There are three main categories of fire tests investigated in this work. In the first case, 50 cone calorimeter tests have been analyzed in order to study parameters such as CLT self-extinction, duration of fire exposure until debonding is observed, and determination of the critical mass loss rate and heat flux for self-extinction. One of the main observations of these cone calorimeter tests performed by various research groups is that deep bonding can indeed occur in a CLT panel. This phenomenon is usually characterized by large peaks in the mass loss rate of the specimen, which are owed to the increased heat flux levels due to the falling off of char or timber layers. Furthermore, we have analyzed 90 different fire-resistant tests in both loaded and unloaded CLT members tested in various configurations. It was found that the type of adhesive used to glue the CLT layers together influences the falling time of the charred layers. In addition, the thickness of its lamella used to construct the CLT panel was found to have a significant effect on the fire behavior of the entire system. Another important parameter is the number of layers used to construct the CLT panel. Moreover, the use of additional fire protection panels to encapsulate the CLT member was found to drastically improve the fire resistance of the tested specimens. Also, the experimentally determined charring rates were found to reasonably agree with relevant values calculated by using the Eurocode guidelines and more specifically Part 1-2 of EN 1995. However, in some cases, quite higher charring rates were measured compared to the Eurocode proposed values. Finally, 20 fire compartment tests performed in both small-scale and large-scale facilities have been analyzed. It was found that self-extinction of a CLT panel occurs when the maximum incident heat flux is kept below 45 kilowatts per square meter. Observations in fire compartment tests revealed that the fall-off of the charred lamella can prevent CLT self-extinguishment by sustaining the flaming combustion. In addition, the presence of a protective layer may reduce the charring rate. However, if this layer falls off, then the charring rate is once more increased. Also, the average charring rate was found to be quite higher compared to the value of the charring rate proposed in a Eurocode 5. And here is the end of this very short summary of our work. 
Thank you very much for your kind attention.